Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever it may be for you. This is Alan at MindVisionMedia.net, and today I wanted to help you guys out with um, creating links, hyperlinks, text links, image links, um, email links, also a download link for uh, any files that you may want to make available for download on your site as well as um, showing you guys how to implement a form on your web pages. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to go to my pages section and what I recommend is that you guys create a page called test test page. Um, that way you can always practice or try out new plugins or what have you. I have one and I made it private so that it doesn't actually publish and it's not um, viewable on my site to the public but I can experiment with things. So let's go in and edit that and we'll start with an email link. So basically I'm gonna write email and the address I want it to go to is Alan at mindvisionmedia.net okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that text that I want to turn into an email link I'm gonna go up here with this symbol here and insert a link now it gives you a couple of options you can put in a URL or you can select pages or posts or images from within your site but in this case we're going to delete the HTTP or www um, URL style link and what we're going to put in is a email link and the way you do that is you write mail to no spaces colon and then you put in the actual email address you want it to go to I could have selected it right there, but I wanted to type it in so you guys can see. Mail to, no spaces, colon, Alan at MindVisionMedia.net. In this case, you can substitute that with your email address that you want it to go to. And you click Add Link. Now, that is a email hyperlink. And if we go to Update, which is off screen for you guys, but I just click the update button and I'm going to go to preview and we'll be able to preview the page and here's the link we just created so if I click on that it will open up your default email program and there it is your name is already filled out and you can t the person who's emailing you can fill in a subject or you can there's ways to set it up where you can have a subject already in there but I just wanted to show you guys the basic email link um, I've got a few questions on how to do that so we covered that alright so let me close that and we will go back to our test page now the next thing I wanted to do let's say you have a page in your site that you want to link to and you often visit a website and there might be something in a paragraph that says click here to read more or click here to go see this or that okay so let's do click here just for an example and let's say we want it to go to a specific page Okay, highlight, go up here to select the link. Now, once again, this gives you a couple of options. You can put in a URL or a mail to link like we just demonstrated. Or, you can select a page from within your site. So let's see. Maybe we can go to my newsletter page there. So, we just created a hyperlink really quick. Uh, that will go to my newsletter page and let's just imagine that this said click here to go to my newsletter 
Alright, so I'm going to update. And go to preview. And here's the click here link we just created. And if I click on that, it goes to my newsletter library page. Okay? So really simple to create hyperlinks in WordPress. Very, very easy. No coding involved. Um, the hardest thing we had to do was actually type out the name. Um, so that's an email link, a link that goes to a page in your site. And next, let's try putting a link on an image. And let's see. What shall we do here? Let's see. Let's use this image right here. And let's make it go to my uh, digital photography page or my photo demo page. Since it's an image, there I am shooting some photographs. A very nice young lady, beautiful park. And we, let's say you want to turn this image into a, a link. Same process. You go up here to this button, insert link. And again, we're going to choose a page from within the site. Let's see. about digital photography and we'll add that and now the image itself is a link it doesn't really show anything inside your post or page while you're editing it but if we refresh or update click preview and now we have our email link we have our text page link and now we have an image and if you notice when I hover over the image it's now a hyperlink get the little finger when it's a hyperlink I click on that and we selected uh, the digital photography page and there you go okay so once again really easy to add hyperlinks to your page in WordPress and now let's see about doing a download link now for a download link, oops, sorry, you want to make sure that whatever file it is you want to offer for download, that you have already uploaded it to your server, um, which I have already done. And what I mean by that is you need to make sure the file, and usually this pertains to a file other than HTML um, or a website file and it's usually or commonly it's a zip file a folder that you've compressed some images in like I have in this case or let's see maybe you have um, a file a PDF file or a word file or something like that so in this case it's a zip file that I created and it contains images stock images that I've photographed really kind of cool micro uh, macro photography but anyway so you want to make sure you know the name of that file so in this case it's macro dash stock dot zip okay so let's go back to our test page and we'll put in download pictures here as the text, I'll select that text. We'll go to link. Okay. Now, in this case, we want to put in your website. Okay. So, in my case,
slash forward slash and then I want to put in that file so in this case it was macro dash stock dot zip okay and click add link and now that has become a hyperlink let's update And now if we go to preview page. And what this will do is open up the save as dialog box that you're used to when you download files. So as you can see, it's now a hyperlink. You click on that. It opens up the download save to file or open window. And there's the file, macro stock zip, that I remember previously uploaded to my server. It has to be on your server and you need to know exactly where it's located on your server in order for that to work. So I'm going to click cancel on that and we'll go back to our test page. Now I want to quickly show you a neat little plugin that you might want to get or you probably have something similar. But this one I've been using and been working pretty pretty good. It's called Contact Form 7. Okay, really neat little plugin. Takes the hassle out of putting a form on your page or what have you. And what you can do once you have it installed, um, you go up here. It will install a button on your dashboard called Contact. Okay. Now the cool thing about this is you can create as many forms as you want. I've created this one. You just click add new, give it a name, and that's pretty much it. Um, you don't have to enter anything into the form, but I'll show you a couple of the features. Default language is English. We'll add new. And you want to give it a title. And basically it'll give you options like this. So you can put your name, that's where the person puts their name, that's where they put their email, and here's where you can put in a subject so that the subject is automatically in the form when it comes to you through your email. Okay, And this is the area where they will fill in the text. You don't have to put anything in any of these unless you want to put a subject in there. This is all for the person filling out the form. Okay, And you, once you've given it a name, you can call it whatever you want. Um, always try to name things with something that you're going to recognize and remember or reference, be able to reference. And once you give it a name and fill in your subject, you can go ahead and click save over to the right and it will create the form for you. So here, let's just pretend it created the form and here's the short code for it right here. Okay, you can either copy this right here, control C or command C, and go back to our pages. And we'll go to our test page. And if I paste that code right here, that's all I have to do. Click update. And preview. And there you have it. There's the form. Just like that, folks. So really easy to create hyperlinks, email link, text links, image links, download links, and using the form contact form seven plugin. Very simple to put a form on your page so people can send you a nice form request. Okay, I hope this helped, and I'll talk to you later.